All right, so I finally did it. I finally made my way over to the supermarket to pick up a pineapple. I specifically went to the store, like one of my subscribers suggested I do, to go for the pineapple. And that's what I did. I drove out there just for this pineapple. All right, so I am going to break this top off. I don't think I can do it right here. All right. Yeah, I did. It needs a consistent environment. It's not like a plant that can grow in multiple environments. It needs a certain environment for this plant to go into a fruit productive state. So my experience with these things are if you can't provide the right kind of climate, the right kind of moisture and conditions and everything for it, my experience is, is you're never going to see a pineapple from it. You can't, I'm not saying you can't get a pineapple from this, but unless you meet the demands of this particular variety of pineapple to produce a pineapple, you got a 95% chance that you're not ever going to see a pineapple. I have grown pineapples for many years. In fact, I'm going to uh, add the other pineapple to this review. I'm not going to really count it uh, in as part of the challenge, but I'll keep you up to date on it anyways as just a point of interest, something to look at, I guess. But that pineapple is a pup from another pineapple that I had that got like two feet tall and two feet wide. I mean, the thing was absolutely enormous. I had to get rid of it because it was poking me everywhere I went. I, I just got annoyed with it, guys. It just got annoying. I kept it around for like a year and a half or two years. Actually, that one, what happened with that one, if I'm trying to remember now exactly what happened with that one. That one was like this. I started it from root, did its thing, put it in a pot and grew it for like about two years. But what happened is at the end of its lifespan, instead of it producing a pineapple, what it did was is it got really big and it threw out all these little pups, all these other little pineapple plants, a whole bunch of them came out all over the place. I forgot how many I got, three, four, five, six, something like that, I don't remember. A bunch of them came out, little ones. And so I potted, I took this, the, and the one in the middle died. It rotted back, now that I'm thinking about it, I remember now, it died. So I just broke that middle piece out and all the other pineapples started growing in and filled up the pot. So I decided to separate those pineapples. And I did, I separated them and I just neglected them because I just lost interest in it. You know, I'm moving on to different plants and things like that and I just lost interest. The other ones ended up dying, I left them out. This is just what happens with these type of things when you start them. I couldn't deal with them, but this one pineapple that you will see next, I've had that one, kept that one around. That's the baby of the mother plant that died and all the other ones around it died and this is the last pop that lived. And this pineapple got, the one that I'm going to show you, got really big and then most of it died back because I stopped watering it. I gave up on it. I just left it there to just neglect and just die. And then I can use that pot for something else. And I need the growing space. And so I didn't water it. I stopped watering it for the whole winter last year. Most of it died off. But I, it didn't totally die. And so when I brought it back out, it started getting water. It started growing again. And what you see now is what it is. All right. But... What I was saying about pineapples is that I noticed that these things, in order for them to be a, a plant that's going to produce the fruit like this, it needs a certain environment. And even if it does produce a fruit, a pineapple, you're not going to see this, guys. You're not going to see this. What you're going to see is a small pineapple, probably about this big. It'll be, you know, it'll be something like that. It'll probably look maybe like this size, roughly you'll have a pineapple about that size. It's not gonna be by any means that big. Not at all, if you're lucky. It could be even smaller. It could be the size of an apple or something like that. But just for the fun of it, I'll give it a go. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to handle two years of doing this. I just don't know if I could keep up with that. I mean, I have a pineapple I've been keeping now. That pineapple's it's been through two winters already, so whatever that equals. I, I took it out of the mother plant. It's been there a year. Went through another year. Right? I started it. It came off the mother. Been through a year. Been through the winter. Came back to that year. Been through that year. 
been through a winter and now it's this year so i don't know it could be even three years i don't know I, I don't know how you measure that in time but that's roughly how old that pineapple is and that thing's never going to produce a fruit guys pineapples are kind of like apple trees if you start an apple tree from a seed the chances of that apple tree actually being a productive apple producing an apple at all even getting flowers chances are is probably 99 out of 100 that it's not going to even produce flowers you have to you have to do process to it to try to encourage it to flower you almost kill a tree and this is kind of like what that's you're going to experience with something like this it'll just be there forever and just never produce anything and if it does produce anything it'll produce more pups or it's going to produce the pineapple itself like i say these things need a certain type of light they need a certain kind of humidity they need a certain dew point they also need a certain light and temperature. Now, all these things make a difference on whether this plant is going to make a pineapple or not. And it's not an easy challenge, I will most certainly tell you that. But some of you might get lucky. I, I wish best of luck to everybody. In my opinion, from my own experience in the past, is I'm not expecting a pineapple. I will give you a nice big two-foot diameter pineapple plant, but I am never going to see a pineapple. I'll do it just for the fun, guys, but my expectations are definitely not high. All right, so let me strip this thing down and let me get the other pineapple plant out and all that stuff, and I'll be right back. What I did was, is I just took some of the lower leaves off. I normally wouldn't take them off until some of the roots start to drop down into the jar, and then I'll take some of the lower leaves off, or some of the times, depending on what this looks like to me, I will strip all the leaves off all the way up until you got nothing but this very crown on top and expose that whole bulb. And I'll cover that bulb with dirt very lightly and not keep it wet. What I did was, is I left this on a side hanging so it can support the pineapple basically while it's in there. Now, if you look at what I did, you notice that the whole pineapple is not in the water. I very carefully place it down. You don't want this water all the way up into here. You just want the very bottom. I may even drain some of this water off, but it, it will evaporate in a couple days. But I just basically want that very tip that I didn't cut off. I was going to cut that off, but I don't want to cut that off. I want the water to wick from there to feed the pineapple. But in general, you really don't even want that. You want, it, you want that to just touch the water a little bit to wick it into there. If you go too deep, it's just going to rot back. All right, that's how I've done it before. I'll show you here. You can see there's some roots on it. I want to wait for these roots to start to drop down into the water. And once they do that, then I'll strip off the rest of these leaves and then they'll be ready for soil. But I need something to support the pineapple in the jar for now. But even that to me is a little too deep. I want those roots to reach down for the water and they're not going to do it if they're sitting in water. Pineapples do not like water, all right? They don't like water. They are almost would be referred to as an air plant. I would almost put this in the same family as an air plant. These do not like water. Very lightly water them. You don't water them very much. They can do months without water. Trust me on that one. That's it. That's the start of it. And this is eventually what it'll turn out to be. It'll turn into this thing. You can see it's all wobbly because it's probably some of the roots on are old and just very light soil. So I've been banging this thing all. I'm walking into it. That's what I'm saying. These guys, these things, they, they, they get in the way. These these fronds come out, and you can't help hitting them. Every time you hit it, you loosen up the plant. It's a very annoying plant to have in your house <laughs> anyway, you know. But, yeah, you can see the size of this thing to my hand right now. You could even see it to the compared to this. All right. This plant is the pup from the mother plant that I grew, I guess, four years ago. And this one survived. Now, this plant's roughly something, maybe two years old, something like that. May even be a little older. It's been around a while. It's not produced uh, a pineapple yet. I have starved this plant for two or three months without water. Just stopped watering it, hoping it would die. It never died. A lot of them, all these things, all this, this all died back. But 
the leaves peel off and then it just puts out new leaves. Eventually you end up with this thing again. So it's one of those plants that just don't go away once you start it, unless you throw it away. So uh, this is what ends up happening with these things. Um, will it produce a pineapple? I don't know. I'll let you look down the middle of it though. Yeah, there's some leaves fell in there and stuff. It's by my pepper plants and they're dropping leaves. You see the yellow color? The yellow color is from too much water. I leave it out. It rains once. If this thing gets more than more rain than once or twice a week, it, it will cause that plant to yellow and then rot and die. So just be aware of that. They don't like a lot of rain at all. Very little. They like high humidity, but they don't like their feet wet, period. All right, so I guess that's, that's that. That's your pineapple challenge and we'll see what this one does and we'll keep an eye on this one if I see anything strange come out of it I will most certainly let you know that's my entry into the pineapple challenge hopefully this will make me official now all right guys see you on the next one